So there were reports that Hillary Clinton was considering running for mayor of New York. It's yet to be seen if that's true, uh, but now we have a new report here that's perhaps even more cringeworthy. Uh, so Mediaite is reporting that author Edward Klein is citing a source close to Hillary that says uh, she wants to do a TV show to stay relevant and then run again. Now, look, uh, Ed Klein is not reliable. I'm just going to put it out there like that, because it's true. He's not reliable. Uh, so this could be completely fabricated. This could be misleading. This could be any of a number of things. Or it could be true. <laughs> so there's a reason why I'm doing this segment either way, and I'll get to it. Um, but here's what they say. Quote, She's utterly determined not to fade into the background. She intends to stay in the limelight and keep fighting the good fight. The show would come from a progressive point of view <laughs> and would ideally feature chats with world leaders and progressive thinkers. Oh, right. I'm sure she's going to invite me on there, right, Hill? Uh, she thinks being the host of a popular TV show would energize the Democratic Party base and her tens of millions of fans. It's a way to make a comeback and position herself for another run at the White House starting in a year or so. Okay. By the way, there's actually been polling on this. 62% of Democrats and independents don't want her to run again. Let me repeat that because that's devastating. 62% of Democrats and independents don't want her to run again. Your time's passed, Hillary. It's done. It's over. It's not even close. If you run again, you're going to do way, way, way worse than you did last time. You're, there's no chance. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. 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 So you need to come to terms with that. You need to realize that. Now, furthermore. That would be the single worst TV show in human history. You're not going to do a progressive show. Everybody knows you're not progressive. <laughs> Every, even your supporters, even many of your supporters are like, yeah, she's like, you know, center left. And that's kind because I don't think she's even center left. Um, but even her supporters acknowledge like, yeah, no, mm, mm, yeah, no, I wouldn't say she's progressive, progressive. Your record speaks for itself. Supporting NAFTA, supporting TPP. Voting for the Patriot Act, voting for the Iraq War, uh, in favor of intervention in Syria, orchestrating it in Libya. You're simply not progressive. You're simply not liberal. So, and never mind the corrupt connections, which is pr perhaps even the bigger problem. Because it's an indication of how you'll act in the future, and it's an indication that you're not really principled. You're willing to sell out your ideology and your vote to the highest bidder. Uh, so... You're not, people see through it now. It's done, Hill. They see through it. They see through you. You're not going to host a progressive talk show. It's not going to be popular. It would be horrifically rated. It would be mock universally. I could see protesters even getting their way into your live studio audience if you were to have a studio audience. It would be an epic disaster, the likes of which I don't think we've ever seen. So put it behind you. But that gets to the main point here, which is why I'm even doing this segment, which is you can't. You're, f you're hurting the Democrats. You're hurting the Democrats. Chuck Schumer's hurting the Democrats. Cory Booker's hurting the Democrats. You don't get it. You just don't get it. It's a new day. It's not the same anymore. It's just not the same. So you can't take corporate money. You can't take billionaire money. You can't be loosely connected to the things that are the defining and core features of the left. You have to... You have to get people energized. You have to get people out there to really fight for something. And you don't fight for anything real. I mean, half of your your primary campaign was based on telling Bernie Sanders uh, that he's a, he's got Bernie bros supporting him and they're sexist. When you have to, re to revert to and resort to hack attacks like that is because you're utterly substanceless. When your claim to fame against Wall Street is that you, you, you argue, you went down there and shook your finger and said, cut it out. That, see, that's a laugh line. That's like a comedic punchline. That's not a serious thing a serious person who actually cares about regulating Wall Street says. A serious person doesn't take $3 billion from special interests. So, point is, even if you're considering it 1%, Hillary, stop. Don't. It's over. Go to the private sector and get paid. You sold out your entire career. You might as well go collect on that right now, but stay out of public policy. Stay out of the public eye. You really don't get the view many people have of you. 
you couldn't you knew the rules you knew the electoral college system is the system you knew it wasn't popular vote and you didn't step foot in Wisconsin you didn't step foot in many of the states in what was supposedly a democratic firewall that you should have went to because you're arrogant because you're arrogant and you didn't understand just how much people view you as the establishment they view you as the status quo and it ain't fucking working for them Hill many former Obama voters voted for Trump think about that and now the person who couldn't defeat the most unpopular presidential candidate in history because he had a 63% unfavorable rating at one point in the general election. You couldn't beat that guy, and now you want to revive it, and you want to revive it through a TV show. It would be just funny if I wasn't also really angry at even the thought of it. So, please, fade away, go, in, go away, and go keep hiking in the woods and try to find your soul because you lost it years ago.